In the forthcoming future exists a wounded lamb and his flawless wife. Come. Grace, mercy, peace, and truth, everyone. This is the realest of the way of the real disciples. I'm an unprofitable servant of Jesus Christ, as described in the Gospel of Luke chapter 17, verse 10. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is to inform everyone that uh, both Disciple and myself, we do have cameras now. And I also want to thank everyone for your prayers, your words of, your, of encouragement, uh, your phone calls, and simply your fellowship. Uh, I'd also like to inform everyone that uh, if the Lord willing, we will be posting videos on YouTube uh, that will consist of our, our teachings and uh, some of our activities. Uh, we thank the Lord Jesus Christ for each and every one of you, and we love you all sincerely. Uh, before I end this video, I'd like to offer my own words of encouragement. Well, they're not my, own, they're not my words, but they're the words of Jesus Christ. Um, in the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 5, uh, an apostle called by Jesus Christ by the name of Paul, he says that, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 20, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 38, he says that foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Uh, there are many individuals uh, many professing Christians who um, embody the characteristics depicted in the book of Titus chapter 1 verse 16 it says uh, they profess to know God but through their works they deny him being abominable and disobedient and into every good work reprobate these individuals do not have the capacity to endure in the faith and because of the deceitfulness, the deceitfulness of riches they turn away from the faith and many individuals who profess to be Christians today many individuals who profess to love Jesus Christ they do not keep his commandments and they turn away from the organic entity which is indeed the Ecclesia and they turn to institutionalism and these individuals are deceived by institutionalism so it's my prayer that we turn away from institutionalism and that we revert back to the principles of the New Testament. Many of the things that de that's depicted in uh, practice in many of these religious institutions that we unwittingly refer to as the church are unbiblical in approach and application. Um, so I simply like to say this because the purpose of this video was not to describe institutionalism. Uh, if the Lord willing, I'll be describing institutionalism in, in later videos, but simply to offer the word of encouragement. Uh, Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, he said that he who endures to the end, the same shall be saved. In the gospel of Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, it says that, and you shall be hated by all men for my name's sake, but he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. In Acts chapter 14, verse 22, it says, confirming the souls of the disciples and encouraging them to endure in the faith and that through much tribulation, we shall enter the kingdom of God. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, it says that all who will live godly after Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And so, therefore, in our daily walk with Christ, it is promised that we will experience persecution in Matthew chapter 24 verse 35 Jesus said that heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 it says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and so therefore if all scripture is given by inspiration of God we know there's a guarantee that we will encounter persecution and that we will encounter tribulation but let, let's not be discouraged by persecution and let's not be discouraged by tribulation. But let's be encouraged by the fact of Jesus Christ. Let's make Jesus Christ an objective reality in our lives daily, individually, and collectively. 
Before we came to Christ, we were solely individuals. But now that we're born again, we've been born into an individual. As depicted in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12. And that's the body of the Messiah. And Jesus Christ, he's the head. So therefore, let's be dependent on the head. And also, let's do as described in Hebrew chapter 10, verse 24. Provoke one another to love and to good works. Grace and peace, everyone. I love each and every one of you. And continue to endure to the end. Exists, a and let your light shine before men. Wife. So Come. they may be convicted. Whoever wishes and also come take to the, the free light. gift of the water Jesus of Christ life. Eons before this phenomenon, a Samaritan woman glimpsed that paradise. She would never thirst again. Yet her provider had an unfulfilled appetite. Listen to his captivating yearnings as he longs for a counterpart. Melodic and wondrous, poetically harmonious without ending or start. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven. The spirit carried me away.